Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Salkan and today we're continuing the legendary Iron Man playthrough where we are uh, met with Operation Dawn Wagon, the Grey Knights uh, and a sub-contingent of the squad Hogbite, Mike the Public, Bravo and St. Elliot are taking on 7 to 9 enemies. Ooh. And we need to, what, um, start liberating the area and get an item. Return fire sucks and high alert sucks as well. But I'm sure the Grey Knights will find a way around it. Very good. The Grey Knights landed. <clears throat> Let's use... Let's use our unique position to move up. Very nice position of the civilian. Beat, beat. And uh, Sane moves up to there. Um, okay, I wanted to do a blade storm pull, but that has now no longer any substance. Um, moving to here would be a bit problematic because we get range penalties, funnily enough, for being too close. So we're moving slightly to the back. And then this is like what? Two, four, six? No, that needs to be a double shot, a chain shot. Moves to here. Pulls another pack in the process. Fantastic. Just what we needed. Nice little lightning hands. Into shield bash. Into our actual attack. It's just a machine. Good, we're doing one for all. Making it a bit more difficult to hit him. And the Vipers might move up, so we're overwatching. Yeah, that's not really helping your case. Hits into that amount of cover? Wow. Moving a bit closer. Starting to hit the Viper. Unfortunate. Stun strike to take uh, this one out. Amplify. Uh, 
And then simply move up and hope that that's enough for kill. It's not yet. But it is enough to get uh, more enemies gone. So we could do a little trick, which is putting full cover here, that should completely put us out of line of sight. Yeah, we're no longer in line of sight of these two, little line of sight trick. Should be able to see us. Good hit. And unfortunately we're being bound. Now, fortunately for us, that means we do have three shots to get us out, which we're definitely going to use. Roger. Moving aggressively to flank the next target. Rocket here. And since I know that this is the last remaining pack, what are we going to do? Could move to here. Readying the blade storm and basically void conduiting this guy. I think that's the play. Good. We're going to provoke a bind, but that also provokes a blade storm attack. Which I think is a fair trade-off. I like how the uh, Templar plays very much up in your face, up in your face, up in your face. A little bit low on the damage end, but very good on crowd control and tanking. Fabulous to be precise. Stunning, just to be sure. And continuing to be up in your face. More focus. The double focus is so, so good. It allows you to really go ham with your focus spending. Right, end of turn. Yep, 
you know what just for good uh, for good measure I don't want to miss and then afterwards regret it I'm picking up all of the loot with hogbite Don't need either of that. Copy that. Got it. Move it. Same moves up. The three of them are well oiled machine. I like what I'm seeing. I have Come, on, you of Come on, enemy protocol. You know you want it. Let's get some small into. That means together with uh, our expenditure, we are even net positive on this mission. Next four turns, soldier is going to very nicely get a bonus to crit. Not that we need to do anything anymore. We're done with this mission. That was a fun mission. I really like how the Templar plays. I might be biased uh, towards the class, but it's definitely cool. They have lowered the damage profile a bit, although I must say with all of his free actions, he can spike quite a bit in terms of damage. But the crowd control and specifically the way that focus is being used is fantastic. You gotta get focus once, but once you are in the midst of it, you have enough time to also spend the focus, which is good. And the whole free action thing, it's potentially the class with the most actions. Just putting in a pylon, uh, mm, quick draw, then the shield bash on top of it, just a lot of uh, damage overall as a class. Lots of non-movement ending uh, stuff as well. The stun strike is super good, really like it. Void Conduit is extremely strong. And we got, we were net positive uh, with our intel. Now, training, I think six days until this is done. So Hogbite will need to wait a bit. Although I will say, mm, never mind. They can, they can wait a little bit. Don't want to lose training days. Good vigilance rose to level four. Strength is still acceptable there. Greater faces once, uh, but is unfortunate. Just double checking, all of the havens still look good. These are unfortunately the dark events that come through. And now we do have incinerary grenades, which is really, really helpful. Elarium next, because I want coil guns. 
We're in July. The September, October difficulty spike is ahead of us. So if we do this now, Alarium, and then get to coil guns, we should timing wise still be okay. Got enough scientists, that's not the problem. And we, the local ah, yeah. we just established contact with have sent over all the intel they've collected on the chosen operating in this region. So, you would come to strike at me. I eagerly await your arrival, Commander. Good, you guys go for recruitment for now. And as a Haven advisor. Tari could could work here for now. Okay, so I don't have the money yet to continue expanding. We would have enough contacts. That's not uh, the big problem, or is it? No, it's actually not. The moment that we point. Put, uh, position someone in here we should be more than fine so yeah let's let's um, think about it we do have enough intel to expand I always like to have a little bit of quote-unquote playing money uh, to boost missions if needed but we do have okay info so we're fine what I would want to do is expand further into North America because I like the continent bonus and the reduction for fatigue that's just incredibly helpful I wonder if that's the best usage of our supplies though because coil weapons are coming up and I really need to upgrade a couple of magnetic weapons as well so Yeah, potentially not. Okay. Next up, I think we need to find uh, the liberation starter over here. So that's that's our next task. Adding a bit more scanning capacity over here. I suppose if that worked, we might as well keep it up, Commander. Just received some new intel on the chosen, Commander. Just make you an honorary reaper. My people are up for some additional work if you've got any orders for us, Commander. Okay, so this could easily be done behind enemy lines is good. Recruit an engineer would be fantastic. Reduce avatar project um, process. That is great as well. Recruit another um, another Reaper. That's also very, very, very good. So we indeed need a Master Sergeant. Um, so highest level in order to actually infiltrate the stronghold. We could go with a tech sergeant and do this, but we could also recruit a reaper. How many more days do we have left over? There are a lot of good options here. 15. Okay. So the ones that spring to mind is engineer. That could be done in six days, right? Uh, reduce avatar pro uh, progress. I think that is valuable. I actually think that's very valuable because we're reducing or we're slowing down the avatar project and that gives us enough time to just continue go, uh, going. So that's almost my priority. Getting a Reaper on top of it isn't bad either. So I think we're starting with a Reaper because we can do it in the remaining days. But we need 
Leo together with Igor. Where is Igor? Paladin. Haven advisor. All right, let's get Igor out of uh, the Haven advising business. I think Igor is the Haven advisor in South Africa. Fantastic. Got you. We're going to take have some help with uh, recruitment uh, there. Our main base does have a mech that is so cool. I like it. And we're rocking 288. <coughs> That's a lot of supplies. All right, back to work. We wanted resistance ring. And we can get a Reaper now, 13 days. And that would allow us to then still do the, yeah, still do the other mission. Okay. Sounds good to me. Relatively low ambush chance. Euler. And Igor already reduce uh, the failure chance to an absolute minimum. And wait a second, Venom could require a bit of an of a level up. Faceif is great. I like that. And she has resilient, that's good as well. Okay, another tech sergeant. We're looking fly here on those covert actions. I like what I'm seeing. Recruit the Reaper. Igor. Euler. And Venom. I think these were the three that were doing the missions anyways. Down to 13. Very low chance of failing. Uh, should give him a different weapon. Let me fix that real quick. Good. 13 days and we'll get another potentially sergeant or above. Is our uh, Reaper, which would be good. Bigger roster means more fun. I like it. Cool, we get more Illyrium Crystals. Now, what I wanted to do here is power relay. 120 supplies. It's maybe a bit much. We don't need one immediately, so we're, uh, we're okay. We're ready to go, Commander. We Might speed up a few of the projects here, which isn't bad. I'm. I'm willing to spend money on proving ground stuff and so on, but we don't currently need an, an energy upgrade because really what we want to do is shadow chamber into um, into defense matrix and that we can't even build yet. So Shadowed Realm, Rocky Leon, uh, and a bit of resistance personal. That's two rookies that we could get uh, from here. I really like the idea of that. More rookies means a deeper, uh, deeper pool of of potential um, recruits. More quote unquote space marines. Taxi is wounded, but do we have another Shinobi? So if we select this spot, do we have another Shinobi that could help us, is the question. Axenroth uh, can't yet train the others. 
So the answer there is no, which then begs the question, are we putting the Space Wolves in? Uh, because Igor and Co are currently on a trainings mission. And keep the Grey Knights for a more difficult mission, or should we just get the Grey Knights in? We select the SWAT, lots of five days, nice infiltration. It's potentially overkill. On the other hand, what we could do is we could select this SWAT here. How long until um, attacks here? Spec three days. And there's also Baldilox who is lightly wounded, so we might just wait with them. We'll get more promotions. It's more efficient to not run that mission with them. But we could uh, select the Space Wolves, which is really just half a roster at the moment. But since it's such an easy mission, I think that there is no problem with doing that, putting Jacobo on it. And maybe a fifth, uh, fifth uh, operative. Hmm, look, I'm not sure. Let me check something. Who can train from the PsyOps? Or have do we have everybody in training? No, they don't have those little symbols, so that means they actually need to go onto a mission in order to train again afterwards. So well, that's maybe the perfect mission to do that because it's easy and we don't need the particular a particular squad. Yeah, we could take two Psy Operatives. Bit of a weird combo. But five days for the for the infiltration. That'll be good. I mean uh, for an extremely light uh, um, enemy force, if we're taking this, then we're we're saving a half a day. Now we can go in with two Sonic characters. Let me fix this. Okay, for me that looks like a fair team. Granted, it takes five and a half days, but that's still okay. That's still okay. And we still have, I think, two more chapters that could help us with missions. Good, we have uh, some wound recoveries. Uh, did we get anyone, any resistance operatives that we recruited? No. Okay, nothing. Good, I think we're now running out of uh, soldiers. Yep, uh, to train, uh, out of side operatives to train. So the moment that the next PSYOP is trained, we're going to pull off, uh, pull out both of uh, the scientists, which would be exactly now. Free up, free up, and that speeds up our Ilarium, because now we do have uh, nine out, out of 11 scientists finally starting to work on our research. Good.
Wilson is personally ready. I don't think that we have a lot more Shinobis. Shenka apparently can train further. We don't need trial by fire. I'd rather take Jammer then. And Martin Axenroth gets his first training himself. Okay, at least this training continues as well as it should. No further recruits. Okay. Something has just hit 100% in infiltration. Grey Knights, okay. That's fine. Currently we don't have any spare missions. But we do have a lot of missions that will pop off very, very, very soon. Good. That's the ultramarines who need to uh, who need to launch. These uh, guys here are almost done with their training. Grey knights are ready. I would like to deploy them, but maybe since Eric and Mike will be the next one in training, we will have only a few of them, but. Three of them plus the Psy operatives could do mission, uh, a mission in that easy region. Just to get some more experience. Interesting to see just how it gets very, very difficult from Tech Sergeant onwards to continue leveling. Super slow to get to Master Sergeant. Do we have additional recruits here? Rookie, rookie. Now, okay. I think that's it for today. We got uh, Illyrium research halfway done. So we're on our way to coil guns well in advance of September. So that's helpful. And I think I should do a better job in doing the research here. Next up, I would like to get incinerary grenades they are really good tail and rounds aren't bad either uh, and the unique weapons here are good as well so just investing into them is not a mistake specifically frost bomb was always one of my favorites hunter's x cannot be bad either uh, the free X throw is super good. Shadow Keeper was always a great offhand weapon. Ballcaster was not so good, but maybe they have fixed it. Who knows? Maybe it is really good now. Maybe it has, maybe, maybe, just maybe it has a second uh, bolt in it, which would bring the weapon from not really great to much better, or an autoloader mechanic for, say, the first three shots. Okay, cool. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. See you on the next episode. And if you are cool, you will leave a, a comment and a like down below. So I know the ones that have watched and haven't commented are not the cool people. That's it. Take care. Have a good one.